I only bought two things at the Dream Disney store because everything was kind of pricey. Actually, one of the big reasons I went to D23 too, uh, like to buy stuff, is to get art. So here we go. This is um, retailed at 55 bucks. I think all the prints were 55 bucks. They also had, um, they also had like, pretty much they had kind of like plaques in a way of this design and of various designs, but those were like 200 each. Um, the prints, yeah, were 55, but just, I couldn't say no to this print. It's just so pretty. I'm going to probably frame this. No, I have to frame this, and I'm probably going to put it in the door of my room too, just to show off some Disney love, some Disney park love, because Disney parks is all I'm where I'm at. And yeah, just overall, it's just so nice. I really like this piece. 55 bucks is a lot, but if I frame it and if it's just in good condition, it's totally worth it. And I'm, you know, I'm probably going to keep it this for a very, very long time. All right. So this is from a whole new booth. I spent 300 bucks on the Disney store booth. I spent some money on this booth, which was the dream Disney store. And this store was dedicated to all Disney park stuff. So pretty much, I was actually expecting to spend more at the Disney Park store, but a lot of things was really fancy. They had freaking, uh, they had statues, they had replicas, they had just insane, expensive, really fancy things. There we go. Okay, it's focused. But yeah, what's it called? Something I picked up was, this was actually, this was interesting. So, um, they showed, like, this new Mickey out. He was, like, in hats, he was in, like, thermals. He was, like, you know, like, distributed all throughout the merch. There were shirts. But I found this sign in a corner. It was kind of funny. There was shirts, and then this sign was in the middle of the shirt, and there was only one left. I'm pretty sure somebody was, like, hiding it. And it was just like, eh, I don't know if I should pick it up later and try to hide it, but I was like, dude. <laughs> when I found this, I actually got genuinely excited because, like, everything else was kind of expensive. I'm not too much of a clothes guy. Um, I would buy replicas if I could afford them. So I was just like, ah, oh, nothing is, like, really for me. But no, this is really cool. So this is, yeah, it's just like, it's like a sign you would put... This is really cool. I'm going to put this guy on the door of my room. There you go. Just says, drift to a magical place. And then you can see all the little different places they have. They got Small World, Toontown, uh, freaking Jungle Cruise, Haunted Mansion. They just have all everything distributed. This is super cool. This retailed at 20 bucks. I feel like this is totally worth it to put on your wall. And then it just like, it's just like, it's a picture. <laughs> it's, uh, it's pretty much, it's just art. It's just so nice. And yeah. So I didn't think too much about this, but I just noticed, okay, so this is the next item on the list. I still got this from the Shop Disney. Shop, I keep saying Shop Disney, Disney store booth. Um, and this thing is, is as much as the Donald. This one's limited to 500 pieces. This is the Ichabod and Mr. Toad mug. So I believe that the, the crossover right here is there's just the Mr. Toad pin, and it's an Ichabod cup. I don't think Mr. Toad's in this cup. I haven't opened this guy yet. Here, I can show you on the bot. Let me show you a little closer. Here it is, Legacy Collection. Um, they had a bunch of, well, not a bunch of mugs, but they had mugs of really obscure stuff. Another thing, too, is I kind of want to keep it in the box, but I, I actually, since it was so kind of pricey, I split it with somebody being like, oh, okay, so we'll split the cost, 15 bucks because I want the pin, and then 15 bucks because I want the cup. I, I kind of wanted the cup. I'm not really too much of a pin guy, even though it's a Mr. Toad pin, but I, I, I wouldn't have anywhere to put it. So I'll open it right now since if they're going to take the pin, the box is pretty much, you know, obsolete by this point. All right, this is the sad part because um, I'm not really a fan of opening boxes because... It ruins the value, <laughs> but it's going to happen anyway. I just, um, I didn't open this yet, but I just took this out. I loosened it just a little bit because it was, this thing was really jammed. All right. Because I, another thing too, I kind of really want to show you what the cup looks like, what you're expecting, because I only see the front side. So I don't even know what the hell I'm going to look. Oh, you just take it out like that. Oh dear. This looks better than I thought. Focus. This is actually way better than I thought. Because first, it just shows this. And then, like, in a sense, you could say, eh, it just looks like cheap printing. That's really it. But no, I like, this is actually pretty neat. The handle's way unique. Like, look at this. This is really weird. I, it's weird. It's like a three-finger hold. Like, I would recommend holding this with three fingers. It's kind of weird. 
really weird design, but I like it. Like, it looks like a painting. Like, it looks like an old painting that just, like, like it stops, then it just starts. Like, it's like a whole new uh, story that's about to unfold, <laughs> which that sounds pretty deep, in my opinion. I'll focus. I'm really sorry. All right, there's the Headless Horseman with his horse and poor Ichabod going to meet his bitter... No spoilers here, so I'm not going to continue. Uh, but look at the painting. This is kind of funny. Look, it looks like he's, like, bleeding. He's not bleeding, but yeah, like, he has, like, a red thing here from how fucking scared... From how scared he is. He looks terrified. Even the horse is like, no! <laughs> ah! But I don't know. What really brings my attention is just how this is. This presentation looks really nice. This looks like, the, you know, like, when the start of the movie. This looks like the start of a book. I don't know. Something about this is really pleasing to me. Oh, and let me uh, show you the pin really quick. I'll just do a little close-up. I don't really have to take it out of the box. There we go. Here's the pin. Another thing that bugs me, too, is even though I took out... I pretty much opened the packaging. I really like the presentation of Mr. Toe like that. The little emblems, all that stuff. But it is removed now, which sucks. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to show you the last things I bought at the Disney store. Uh... Here's, they're both related to the same thing. So 20 bucks, I got a tote bag. I'm not really a tote collector of any sense, but what I think is so cool about this one is this one's actually based off the skeleton dance, the first silly symphony. And actually, this is actually, I didn't notice this at all. Limited to 200, I did not know that. Um, I bought this being like, uh, I always, when I go to the mall, I have nowhere to put things. I just usually stuff it in my backpack, and I look skeptical, like I'm stealing when I'm really not. So I was just like, fuck it, you know what? I'll get a tote bag that I'll always use. That and, yeah. So I got this dude, which is, what makes this so significant is, this is from, yeah, the Skeleton Dance first little short that they had a long time ago. And this is the owl that came out, like, I think, like, in the first, like, one of the first scenes where the owl's like being loud and a skeleton throws his skull at his face and he blows up, which is kind of cool. <laughs> and I just think, yeah, it's cute. And then this thing too is just like 20 bucks for a tote bag. That's so dumb. I guess like, like uh, it's kind of fancy too. Look, there's actually an opening right here and it actually has two pockets. Uh, you can't really put much in it, but I'm a like, eh, what's, I'm, I'm a guy that doesn't shop for food or anything. I'm a dude that will go to a store, go to like a Japanese store, buy one figure, buy a plush. So this is kind of perfect because it's just like, yeah, it's just like one little big compartment or I could stuff plushies in here and then whatever I could put here. I could potentially put like scissors or whatever the heck that's useful time to time. But yeah, pretty solid. I think it's kind of cool. And yeah, 20 bucks though. Ugh, for a bag. Uh, Last thing too is... The same thing of the skeleton dance. I actually got a shirt. This shirt, I think, was like 35 bucks, which is pretty... I don't spend... Okay, dude, I, I, I'm i a type of person that spends $10. <laughs> $10, $15, $20 on a t-shirt. I never go too crazy. And yeah, but what it, what makes this shirt so crazy is the concept that it's they're representing this property. This property is never talked about. It's not shown at the park. It would not that not that much. It's fairly rare, so I was just like anything skeleton dance related, I have to pick up. And what's cool about this one is like they're doing the dance frame by frame. Yeah, so here's a full view of the shirt. Thirty five bucks is a lot for a shirt, but I just couldn't say no. There you go. And lastly, uh, you're probably like, what the fuck? What else did you buy? No, like uh, when you do a checkout, when you you bought everything, they pretty much upsell you, and they're like, hey. Do you want to buy, like, this limited edition key? Hey, you want to buy some pins? And I'm not a pin guy, but they're just like, Hey, look at that. You get a exclusive D23 pin. Oh, the three caballeros. And then pretty much the lady that sold me this was funny, too, because she's just like, she saw everything that I bought, and she's just like, okay, he likes the classic stuff. And she's like, do you like this? And I was like, it looks cool. She's like, five bucks. And I'm like, is it exclusive? And she's like, yes. And I was just like... Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> and yeah, five buck pin. I, I don't know where to put this. It's nice to have, but yeah, again, I don't know where to put this. I just barely noticed the price. I got it for five bucks. I guess because I, I spent $300 in that p freaking booth. 
But I guess this is the retail. Jesus, 13 bucks for a pin. Okay, so yeah, I guess it is worth it. Uh, gotta find a place to put it though. I could put it in my hentai jacket, I guess. Yeah. Alright guys, we're reaching the final points of the video, sadly. I have two more items. So I got this guy from a wall... No, I was gonna say Walgreens. Uh, Hallmark? It, there's like this place you usually buy cards and Christmas decorations, but they had a booth, I guess. And then they were selling little plushies. And what I got was a pocket Oswald. A little Oswald. Da, 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 da. Which is really cute. Uh, look, like uh, The reason I call it pocket Oswald is because when I first looked at him, he looks like somebody that would uh, you could put like on your front pocket if you have one of those types of shirts. And yeah, something a little cool too. It says limited edition... Uh, which is nice. Um, I'm pretty sure it's not limited edition to D23. I'm pretty sure you could buy this probably online if you're interested. Oh, Hallmark. <laughs> that's what it's called. Itty Bitties, I guess that's what it's called. And yeah, they had an Oswald. They also had, I believe, a peat. Like, like a black and white peat. Which is around the same size and looked really cute. But I was just like, I can't... Mm. I felt like I spent too much because that was like one of the last places I went to to buy something. So, uh, and I dropped something. Uh... So I just couldn't say no, and I was just like, I had to pick one, I have to go for the Oswald, the true original. Yee. And, I guess, to continue this, the final thing I bought, the best for last, I saved this specifically best for last, is I bought a log from a vendor <laughs> at the vendor places. Um, there was a bunch of other stuff you could buy, there was Pops, I'm not a Pop guy, there was Zoom Zooms, there was, um... Uh, bunch of old uh like theme park stuff that you could pre-buy but of course it's a lot more because they don't make stuff like that anymore and i found this log uh what's it called so what's cool about this log okay it's a zoom zoom but what's cool about this set uh, is this set is based off a bunch of different disney parks uh like vehicles and yeah, it came out, and in that booth that I went to had literally all of them and then they were all 6 bucks they were all retail price and i was just like yeah, like, might as well, like, why pay online, probably with the shipping fee, if I could just pick this one up right now. And I picked this one up only just because I felt like it's worth it, because, um, I actually want to collect the Splash Mountain set. So I feel like this would help out with the Splash Mountain set, even though it's not from the same set, it's still really nice to have the log there as, like, a background character, which is really cool. Oh, and then something about the Pocket Oswald, too. The Pocket Oswald, I think, was, like, ten bucks or something. So 10 bucks, this guy, super cute. I'm probably going to put them, I'm probably going to take them all the time if I go to Disneyland in my front pocket. That's going to be his main objective. And little guy is here to, uh, to just to complete this future set that I'm probably get going to get of the Splash Mountain Zoom Zooms. Which is cool. Soft, cuddly, and silly. Yeah. Alright guys, I guess this is the ending of the video. I showed you all the crap that I bought. So that overall experience going to D23 was amazing, but it was like 500 bucks, I would say. Just because I spent 100 bucks on the ticket itself. And honestly, I think 400 bucks worth of merchandise because, yeah, I bought a few hundred dollar things. And a bunch of other things that just added up. Um, but what do you guys think? Do you, do you think that what I got was worth it? Did you go to D23? Uh, do you plan on going to D23 next time? And yeah, uh, pretty. Uh, I felt like it was pretty solid, pretty successful. Thank you for joining me on this in Denver. And I really like showing off... Um, well, not showing off, but I really like showcasing all the stuff that you could potentially buy and what you could be looking for if you're interested in any of these products because you could probably buy them online uh, eventually, I'm guessing. So yeah, things and goodbye.